I can't make it up. And the fact that it says four and six, which is ten, which is one, this is this is this is a divine union. This that mature man is here and a mature woman. This is a divine, and five and six is eleven. Let me show y'all. Five and six is eleven. What's eleven and four? Fifteen. That's still six. That's showing that Saturn. That 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 whatever we both are going through right now, it has a lot to do with the Saturn placements uh in our charts. That's what it's telling me right now. Okay, where's where's my little sticky pad? Where my sticky pad at? Okay now. I just had it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we so what came out was a combo, right? So we got a we got number six. Mature woman. Okay. Number six, mature woman. And number four, courtship. Right? Combo. That really is a combo because it came out together. Okay. And it's saying, you know, like I said... <laughs> This is a divine connection. Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. It's actually a trio. This is my first trio card, y'all. And the five mature men. This is my first trio. So this will be a trio. Um... So, divine connection coming into union with your divine masculine. And then we're going to put hashtag twin flame. Okay. That's the trio right there. Six and four is one. It's a divine union. Divine connection. Now I'm going to put ordain. Ordain union. Union. You know. Yeah. Courtship. So let's look deep into this courtship, right? To see how it's going to give us another oracle. Because I feel like another oracle, another oracle is going to come from this courtship right here. Let's go into a four foot courtship. I'm, I'm just showing you guys how I do what I do. So when I'm doing it, you know, doing it and doing it and doing it well, you'll understand how it, how it, how it went down. Okay, so courtship is talking about. Visiting was a major activity of the time period for people in, and visiting was a major activity of the time period for people and an enormous body of etiquette surrounded proper visiting and correct courtship. So thank you, spirit. This man going to come correct. So we're going to do that as a mature man. This. Man is going to come correct. And court you like the goddess you are. Mm -mm -mm. And I don't know why I'm feeling like this. It could be a Leo. I don't know why I'm feeling like it could be a Leo. I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to just put Leo, man. I'm going to put, 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 uh, oh, I'm stuttering. I'm going to put fire sign. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'm going to put what's going on. Fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Wow, y'all. Beautiful. Let's see what else spirit can give me out of that. Huh? Huh? So that would be like an identity card. Ooh, let spirit, can you give me some more identifiers for this mature man? Yeah, let's see. Crazy that it's right next door to each other. Right next, ooh, right next door to each other? Right next door to each other. Hmm. So the mature man is sober and thoughtful in his day suit. We meet. This wise older gentleman in his library, he's on your side, generally representing all kinds of bosses, guides, mentors, authorities. Okay, so spirit is showing me also with this judication right here. That's another combo. And right there, I'm just going to put God is on your side. Yeah. Judication and five, the mature man. Come out. The most high sent this man into your life. God is on your side. Okay? And that's very important to keep that in the card. Because if I was doing this for someone who's going through a breakup or divorce. Because we got the adjudication here with courtship. The mature man, mature woman. And the end right here. So depending on if this was in a different energetic setting. Then that will be showing that. This difficult divorce, but it, it's going to go in your favor because God is on your side. And then, of course, there'd be any other cards that I could pull that could talk about the breakdown of the relationship, different things. And then, of course, I definitely always pull from my heart space and my intuition and my experience to be your worth, to be worth your weight in doing any kind of psychic intuitive counseling sessions where you use a tarot oracle. You definitely got to have that 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 have be your be worth your weight in salt. Meaning you'd have been in a lot of salty ass situations and still turned out to be sweet. Still still stayed loving. Okay, does that make sense? So yeah, so the most high sent this man into your life. Okay, and then I also was gonna put a a a, a line and put woman. Okay, the most high sent this man or woman into your life. God is on your side. So God said, enough is enough. You deserve love. You deserve love and you're going to have love. And then no matter what, because that's what's been causing your bad health. Okay? Fighting and, and, and all of that. And then also, to go deeper, this is what caused you to feel like God wasn't on your side. Because you had worked so hard. At trying to understand what was God actually trying to tell you. The Most High Son trying to show you in all the lessons and the blessings. The lessons in your life. And, and what was, what was, what, why was God withholding your blessings? Do you see that there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You wanted to know that. Like, what, what's really going on? You know, am I on my right path, spirit? Am I on my right path? To having that happy home, you know, when I say happy, happy is fleeting because any little thing can come and rock the boat. But when I say happy, I don't mean happy. I mean, I mean, blessed, right? I mean, fortified with the strength of we going, we going, we going, um, we going to work this thing out, baby. We going, we going to ride this storm, baby, because I love you and I got your back, Right? This is showing you that the lessons that you went through in life was to give you that experience that put that saltiness in you. And that this courtship right here is going to be where both of y'all have went through these trials and tribulations in life lessons. So you can come into union with one another and be each other's blessing. Okay. That part. That part. 
that part. And I've been talking to the most high, like, you know, I'm, I live in a place where there's no really, it's no community. You know, it's like black people just, just seem like they just don't give a F about each other. They just don't, they just gone. Right. They just, they just dead and gone mentally, spiritually. They just, they just spiritually deplete. They mentally corrupt. And what's really going on? And that's what spirit said to me. Well, that's what's been that's what's been messing with your health because you've been trying to save the world, beloved. You are a high priestess, and you've been trying to save the world. But well, now we're trying to in, let you understand that we had to take you, have you take a step back, worry about self. This is what you call this. Is what I, I coined this healthy narcissism. Worried about self because you've been running yourself thin. Taking care of this, that.